Welcome to Liberate University. Namaste, dear friends, and welcome to this uplifting video tutorial with a guided devotional chanting meditation to connect with the spiritual power of Hanuman. So, Hanuman is a very powerful deity from the Hindu uh, spiritual tradition. He comes from the Hindu epic called the Ramayan. So, the Ramayan talks about basically Ram being the guru of Hanuman. So, Hanuman symbolizes the perfect devotee who basically surrenders his life to his guru, which is Ram. So Hanuman is very powerful because he symbolizes all the spiritual qualities that we already have inherent within ourselves, okay? And so we try to emulate and manifest these divine qualities too by attuning to this powerful energy, which is Hanuman. And so in the Ramayan, there's a lot of different stories about how Hanuman basically lives for Ram, his guru or spiritual teacher. And there's many instances in the Ramayan where Hanuman shows this strength, this devotion, surrender, and faith to become one with his guru, Ram. So the, the main qualities of, um, of Hanuman are his devotion, faith, and surrender. Obviously, he, he has many wonderful spiritual qualities, but these are his uppermost qualities. So when we want to connect with Hanuman, we want to attune ourselves to these spiritual qualities, devotion, surrender, and faith. So this can work in wonderful ways in our, in our lives and even in our daily lives. We, come, we are constantly uh, pushed into circumstances in life sometimes where you know we have difficult uh, situations circumstances that seem out of our control and so how do we deal with this by attuning ourselves to this spiritual power that we have within ourselves so you know, when we encounter these difficult situations, when there, when there are problems in our lives or hardships or even trials, the best right attitude that we can take is to surrender. So, to, so we surrender, meaning it, surrender doesn't mean to just become passive. No, we have to find out a way out of our difficulties and everything, but we do it through right attitude and surrender meaning we ask for God's help or the universe and we, we try our best always, but then we let go of the results. We, we, we just completely leave it in God's hands. So, and he, he always knows what's best for us too, right? Uh, so that is why Hanuman is very powerful and very important for us to attune to because he represents this power, this power of surrender, of just giving his life completely to Ram. So, you know, if we have a guru or not, we can still, you know, um, manifest these qualities of just surrendering and letting go. So there is a saying that says, let go and let God. So that is surrender. We just leave everything in the hands of the universe and we always know that he knows what's best for us. So that's how we become one with this energy of Hanuman. Okay, so just to give you a brief uh, history about um, 
the Hanuman Chalisa, which is what we're chanting today for Hanuman Jayanti, a very, a very auspicious um, time of the year when Hanuman is uh, worshipped throughout India. So this Hanuman Chalisa is a very powerful chant. Actually, it could be said that it's the ultimate hymn or invocation or prayer to Hanuman. And this chant has been chanted for thousands of years. So this is called a Hanuman Chalisa. And so basically it's, it's that, it's a timeless hymn or prayer of devotion to Hanuman, who is known for his devotion to Lord Ram, his guru, a spiritual teacher. And Hanuman is considered the embodiment of faith, surrender, and devotion, okay? So this Hanuman Chalisa was composed by Tulsidas or Saint Goswami Tulsidas. Uh, and the, the Hanuman Chalisa is so powerful that Tulsidas wrote every, every line of this Chalisa to be a Maha Mantra, meaning the 40 verses of this chant, each line is a Maha Mantra, which means a great mantra. So that's the power of this chant that every line has this seed thought of spiritual power, okay? So that is amazing because if we, you know, chant this and, and we make it a part of our, our spiritual practice, we are tuning into the, to this mantric vibration that has been chanted for centuries now. So we are connected with all these saints, all these sages that have this deep devotion for Hanuman, okay? And so I wanna show you a, a, a quick picture of Hanuman that represents this devotion. And this is a very, um, you know, uh, popular uh, painting of Hanuman where he's uh, bursting his, his heart open, basically he's opening up his chest and in his chest you see there is the form of Sita and Ram. Sita and Ram are, uh, well, Sita is the concert of Ram. So that's why they're, they're together. And so Ram is his guru, so this shows symbolically showing that Hanuman has his guru Ram in his heart. So that's, that's the devotion aspect. So we want to keep our heart pure, pure like that. We want to keep our heart pure and have, you know, if we have a spiritual teacher or a guru, we keep him in our hearts and we surrender unto him everything. Okay? So, Basically, what we're going to do, we're going to get in a right meditation posture. Then we're going to open up with a prayer. And then we're going to get into the chanting. And so with the chanting, we're going to provide the subtitles for you, okay? And, you know, feel free to watch this video as many times as you want if you want to memorize the Hanuman Chalisa, which I strongly recommend you do. You know, it takes time, obviously, because it's, uh, it's 40 verses, so it's a lot of verses, but once, you know, once you're in th that vibration and you cannot help but to fall in love really with this chant. So after the chant, then we're gonna spend a few uh, minutes in deep meditation to feel this wonderful spiritual quality of Hanuman. To feel, so we wanna feel that peace and that devotion, that surrender, that love for God. Uh, and after that, we'll close with a prayer, okay? And we'll also start with, with some ohms in the beginning, okay? So let us get in the right meditation posture now. Very simple posture, it's just spine straight, shoulders back, chest out, abdomen in, palms upturned, resting on the thighs, close to the abdomen, and the gaze of the eyes gently uplifted at the point between the eyebrows, which is called the Christ or Krishna consciousness center in the body. So this is the, the seat of spiritual perception in the body. So we remain here, very still and concentrated. So, let us just take a deep breath in slowly. Exhale. 
relax. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Now let us pray together. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus of Self-Realization, we bow to you all. Divine Beloved Lord, teach me to chant and to pray with deep concentration and to imbue scientific meditation with devotion. May my heart daily become more pure by all surrendering love for Thee. Om Shanti 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 Mahavira Vigram 
So now, let us dive deep, the stillness of meditation, feeling and cultivating the spiritual power of Hanuman within us the spiritual qualities of devotion, faith, and surrender.
Let us close with a prayer from our hearts. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus of Self-Realization, All Saints, we humbly bow before you all. Beloved Lord, may thy love shine forever on the sanctuary of our devotion. May we be able to awaken thy love in all hearts. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Jai Guru, Jai Hanuman. Thank you so much, dear friends. And thank you for being beautiful souls and for joining us in this uplifting devotional chanting meditation. We hope that you can use it for your own deep spiritual practice and that it helps to awaken in you these powerful divine qualities of Hanuman. Namaste. Thank you for being a part of this class. We hope to see you at the next one.